Hello and welcome to the show. I am your host, Keith Wickham. We got lots to talk about today. They have seen the script for Sodor Follow episode 13. And it looks amazing, as it details the first battle for Sodor, or will be playing a workman. But do not worry, this character is not named after me as I am just a random person. Not that long ago, Percy and the Beast Productions released behind the scenes of episode 13. They created a digital version of what P.T. Boomer's soldiers would look like. I think this soldier looks bad as I know the soldier kind of looks like P.T. Boomer. But I reassure you this is not him. The big boss will look much better than this soldier. I promise you girls, you will really like this episode. I cannot give you any more details into this episode without giving away spoilers. My producers would like me to remind you that application process to this show is now invite only. We will have special guest star YouTubers who have created their own unique soda AU. We have one of these special YouTubers here for you today. As we will of course have a question and answer towards the end of this episode if you have any ideas or suggestions for the show. Send them to the Keith Wickham show at gmail.com. One more thing we are celebrating 10,000 subscribers and we have something special for you at the end of this episode in celebration of this event. Now a word from our sponsors. Let's dive into Sodor Dark Realm and talk about the island of Sodor and the Dark Realm, the lands of Sodor, the military stricken nightmare where Emperor Topham Hutt rules with an iron fist. He has more than one prison with Kildane Prison, only being the place where he sends his most hardened enemies. The Sodor is a place where darkness rules absolutely, and where the good girls have little to no chance of winning. The rebels, the good girls, are no pushovers. They know what they are fighting for. The freedom of Sodor from the Empire, these people are tough, smart, and they plan ahead, so expect them to always have a backup plan. Let's talk about episode one. It was interesting playing a character that was pretending to be his doppelganger. But imagine you were in my character's shoes. One day you were driving your favorite Indian going for a drive when all of a sudden, you are teleported to a strange world. Where you are in the same Indian, but everything looks different. Your clothes have changed to military issue. The Indian tells you that you are transporting a prisoner to be executed, and you're just about to arrive at the prison. What will you do? Let me know in the comments, and whoever has a really good answer, will post their comment in the next episode. Let's talk about Soda Dark Realm's future with upcoming star Abby Sanders. We will be right back after this commercial break with Abby Sanders. Hello, nice to meet you, Abby, and welcome to the show. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Hello, Keith. It's nice to meet the real star of the series. I'm quite delighted to see you, but let me introduce myself. I'm Abby Sanders, and I'm 19 years old. I live in Peel Godred. It's in the North Sodor Zone. And I live with my mom and dad, Daphne and Frank Sanders. Me and dad are fishermen, so we come to work at Brendam Docks, usually taking a bus or a train. Are you excited to be in Soda Dark Realm? I'm very excited to be in the series. I get to play a role with a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. My mom is mostly amazed and excited to see me star in the series. Dad usually gets annoyed when I boast about it too much. Do you know when you will be in Soda Dark Realm? Well, yes, Keith, I do, actually. I was talking with the producers, and they said they will schedule my entrance in Episode 6 or 7, but could also be Episode 5, too. That's a long way to wait, if you ask me, but I still trust in the producers. How do you feel about playing a strong female lead character? I rather feel nervous. That's why I'm learning to feel more confident on stage and in the process of filming. Both my parents and the producers are helping me with my acting skills, but in general, it feels splendid. I understand your character is between good and evil. How does your character balance this? That's where the fun comes in, because you have to know yourself in the situation you're put in the series. Spoilers! I used to be raised by the Sodor Empire, but either way, I found out my true identity of what happened when I was just a baby. In other words, on stage and in general, I'm a very neutral woman. So your character has a friend that is a penguin named Patrick, and you tell us about him and your history together. Ah oh, yes, Patrick means the world to me, because he was given to me by my grandma Sanders before she passed away. I'm happy to have Patrick in the series. I made a little plushie and could be no harm, right? Does your character have a fondness for animals? 
I love animals in general, but my character usually loves the seaside and the farm animals, basically far less than what I actually like. But it doesn't bother me. P.S. I really love dolphins. You know we all look forward to seeing you in Soda Dark Realm. Is there anything else you want to tell us? I just want to tell this beautiful audience that without them, I could never get a role in the Dark Realm series, and I'm very thankful for their support. And they can definitely expect a huge success in the future. By the way, did you all know that my favorite engine in the series is Edward? Being an obvious choice, he managed to pass through all the obstacles in his way, and helped a lot of his steam-powered friends, mutated or not, and that's why he is my number one steam engine in the series. Thanks for being here, Abby, and we hope to see you again on the show. I'm very delighted to be your guest, Keith. From the very start, I've been and always will be a huge fan, as it's an honor talking with you. As this beautiful audience is listening, thank you for inviting me, and may we meet again soon. Goodbye, and thanks for having me. And you, V, for being on the show, so the Dark Realm's future is bright. Now moving on, are you ready for our next guest star? Here's a special YouTuber. A lot of you may know him. He has his own Soda Dark Realm AU. Welcome, Soldor Forward Studios. We will be right back after this commercial break. Trucks are everywhere, and are a vital key of the island of Sodor. They carry coal, supplies, and nourishment around the island, and are not given the respect they deserve. They are also a vital key of the fruity, crunchy cereal, Truck Tricks. Fruity shapes are back, and you will have to watch your every movement or else you will fall prey to their tricks. Purchase Truck Tricks today to receive a limited edition Trackmaster Truck Tricks still troublesome truck in each and every box. So make sure to order some today at your local convenience store, for only for 99 a box. Silly steamy tricks are for trucks. Welcome back to the show, I am here with Soda Fallout Studios. Hello there Soda Fallout Studios, nice to meet you, and welcome to the show. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Hello Keith, nice to meet you too. And it's quite nice to be on your show. Since about the 18th of January 2021, I've been making videos for my channel, improving my skill for each video. So far I've done a successful EO of Solar Fallout, as well as new one starting off of this idea of Edward reversing and him going to Brenton instead. So I heard you created your own Soda Dark Realm AO, can you tell me about it? Of course that he was off of Percy and the Beast Productions. But some characters have been altered. For example, Gordon is still the same in the story, but Tabu replaces Edward, and the Unclearable replaces Toby, and Thomas replaces Percy, etc. So how did you duplicate me because I don't remember being on your show? Oh really, Keith, because I can remember we talked about the Edu, and you joined in when you weren't too busy. It was only joking, but your show is interesting, so why did you change Thomas from the ultimate villain back to the good guy? Well, when I planning the episode, I didn't want to keep Percy as the good guy. Plus, I didn't think it would work with Percy as Thomas. So I put Thomas as the good guy. As a bonus. It worked as James and Thomas are basically enemies. Which made it perfect for James to be Thomas. Why did you change Toby's death? Well, I did think of having Toby dropped into some level or something. But that would be hard to do considering I've always edited on my mobile. So I went with Howard Word died in your producer's story. So I heard you have a teaser trailer for your new series, Soda's Corruption. Yes, I have it right here. I hope you all enjoy it. Okay, let's watch it. Thank <laughs> you. 
I also heard you created your own soda full of you. Can you tell us about it? Of course. My soda full of you is off, if Thomas wasn't mutated. Where I had him taking a goods train at the old harbor instead of being in the sheds. I did plan for Gordon to keep his role but thought to give it to James instead. With Donald taking James' role of crashing at Suttery. With Henry at it being blown up instead of Donald. I'm honestly quite surprised as to how many people loved my series about this story and now that it's over. I will maybe do some shorts for the story. Offended also suggests that your producers will make the story which would be a very cool thing. But I think until Percy and the Beast Productions is less busy, that won't happen. Can you tell us your thoughts and feelings regarding Percy and the Beast Productions' Soda Dark Realm series? If I'm being honest, the story is very good and thrilling, but I don't exactly approve of Edward being killed. This is because Edward is my full-on favorite character of the show. And whenever I see him die, I just feel bad. I may not approve of Edward's death, but you can't deny the story has been a lot of hype so far. And I'm sure more hype will come. I heard you were taking over a series called The Bombing of Soda from a YouTuber named Shanks. Can you tell us about the series? And are you two working on it together? Well, The Bombing of Soda takes place during 1986, when the Germans launch an attack on Soda and take the island over. As of now, three episodes have been uploaded and will explain some of the story. The fourth part of the story will explain what happened with Thomas after Douglas left him in episode 2. As for if we are working together, that would be in yes. This is because he gives me the script once he writes it. He helps me make scenes for the show and supplies me with good audio like sound effects. Thanks for being here, Soda Fallout Studios, and we hope to see you again on the show soon. Thank you, Keith. I do hope to return to the show someday, but as a famous YouTuber once said that we'll have to wait until next time. Now a word from our sponsors. Welcome back to the show. We will now have our question and answer time. Remember, we have a surprise for you after this. Now it and the Lego Star Wars collection ask how many episodes will be in Soda Fallout series. Soda Fallout will have two seasons. Season 1 will have 15 episodes in total. Episode 13 is in production so this means there is two episodes left after this one. But there will be a second season which will conclude the story. Season 2 will have 4 to 6 episodes in total and if you add it all up there is a total left of 7 to 9 episodes remaining in this series. Will Duck ever appear in Soda Dark Realm? Let's just say Percy and the Beast Productions have plans for Duck. Super Tank Indiany Dash Xavier asked when will Bell Ben get an introduction to Soda Dark Realm? Currently Percy and the Beast Productions have no plans to put Bell and Ben in the series but this might change later in the future. Where did Keith's voice come from? My voice came from Oba Duck Doctor I and is based off of the 12th Doctor of Doctor Who Peter Cable D. But next I would like to say congratulations to Percy and the Beast Productions for finally reaching 10,000 subscribers. They would also like me to tell you about the membership club join today and get special soda followed. And soda dark realm emojis. And get to see special pictures from upcoming episodes. Now for the 10,000 subscriber surprise get ready to welcome Percy and the Beast Productions themselves. On my left here is Brave Defire. And on my right here is Mighty Nick 29. Whether they are Percy and the Beast Productions, we'll interview them in a special future episode. Thanks for being here and see you in the next episode.